how is it going out there, everybody? This is Jordan Jones. Welcome back to the Republic of Jordan. And my playthrough of Super Luigi Galaxy for the Nintendo Wii. So if you guys give me a favor and drop a like on this video, I'd really appreciate that. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and click on the bell right beside me notified every time my new videos come out. And let me know down in the comments below for question of the video. Um, I would love to know. Um, um, what is your favorite Mario power-up? I would love to know. If I had to pick my favorite Mario power-up, my favorite Mario power-up would be in the sequel to this game. So my favorite Mario power-up would have to be Cloud Mario from Super Mario Galaxy 2. Now we're gonna do Flip Switch Galaxy. Painting the Planet Yellow is the name of our mission. This looks like an awesome level. Looks like we have some nice 2D Mario action going on. Oh, this reminds me of the original Super Mario Bros. Excuse me. The only way you can do landing cancels at the start of a level is just if you do a frame perfect jump to cancel the landing. That's the only way it would work. Just in case you guys did not know. So basically you have to turn these blue switches yellow by running over them. That's what you gotta do. It's pretty simple. It's pretty easy. You just gotta do this. This really reminds me of the original Super Mario Bros. The only classic, I've not played many of the classic Mario games because I didn't grow up with the classic Mario games. I grew up with the new Super Mario Bros. games and the 3D Mario games, so I didn't really grow up with the classics. The only classic Mario game I did grow up with is the original. Um, that's the only classic Mario game I do like is the original. Which, I have the original Wii Virtual Console, and I've played it several times. And I've made it pretty far in the original, but I've never beat it. I've never beaten it about the original. But I have made it pretty far in the original. Um, and I've played a little bit of, um... And I've also played a little bit of, um, Super Mario Bros. 3. The third one. Didn't really get far with it because I I grew up with the new Super Mario Bros. games and the 3D Mario games, and they improved when it came to the control with Mario. So, when I played the classic 2D Mario games, they always felt really, really slippery to me. Like, it, And I have Super Mario World on my Super Nintendo now. Um, I did a playthrough of Super Mario World earlier this year. What enabled to, I only made it to World 6 in Super Mario World, what enabled to beat it, because like I said, Super Mario World was always really, really slippery to me, I just couldn't get used to it as much. Hey you, yeah you, got any tasty star bits? If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst into it with snacky happiness, then and then transform. I'm famished, I need 400 star bits to curb the hunger pains. That makes my job easy. Because I have over 600. There we go. That's it. I'm stuffed. Here we go. Transform! And we're going to do the extra galaxy that's up here. The sweet, sweet galaxy has appeared. Excuse me. Like I said, in the classic 2D Mario games, some jumps you wasn't going to make unless you run. And if you don't hold the run button, you're not going to make the jump. And whenever you started holding the run button and started running, Mario was always really, really slippery back then in the classic 2D Mario games. That's why I couldn't get used to them as much. So, the new Super Mario Bros. games don't really have as much level design as they should in comparison to other Mario games. But when it comes to control, when it comes to Mario's repertoire of moves, the new Super Mario Bros. series is so much fun. I love wall jumping. I love wall jumping so much. And I love the power-ups. Oh, 
Alright, so this level's pretty easy. Basically, you just gotta um, do your long jumps right here. So, you can either do your long jumps, or if you want to take it slower, you can um, do your jumping and your spinning. Okay, we got a one up. That's great. Just, just in case we die. One ups don't save in this game when you turn off the game. I guess because the game is easy, I guess, is why they did it like that for this game. You know, like in the new Super Mario Bros. games, one ups save every time you turn off the game. You can do some nice long jumping and nice. Ugh! Wow! That was very easy. So we're collecting all these star bits. And here's some star bits we'll get at the top of the cake, and let's backflip into the star. Alright. That's our 10th power star acquired. We're not saving just yet. We're gonna do one more level. Which is actually, um, the Grand Star of this area. So we're done with this one, this one, this one, and this one. So we need to go on to Bowser Jr.'s Robot Reactor. Excuse me. Mega Legs Moon is the name of our mission here. Excuse me. Here we go. I was trying to do that little shortcut right here. You can do a little shortcut every time you triple jump just right. But that's alright. We failed at it, so we can just do it the old fashioned way, like this. And there we go. So we can grab these star bits right here. And there we go. All right. Wahahaha, you made it. But I won't even need my dad's help to take care of you. Go at him, Mega Leg, stomp him with the power of your Grand Star. Okay, so this boss is pretty easy. Basically, what you gotta do is, um,. It's, it's a robot. Ah, I missed my opportunity to climb up the robot there, but... Wait until his leg kind of goes down, and then you just need to do this. It's pretty easy, so climb him. And then, now you just gotta let this bolt build go and attack right here. And here's one quick way you can get rid of him if you've already done that. Just leave this bolt bill and back to him. And there we go! We did it! Yay! And that means we got our second grand star of this game and of this playthrough. And the first and we beat the first dome. And we got the second grand star of the game. Let's backflip into the star like this.
That's our 11th power star. And that's our second green star. We unlock the fountain dome now. Yeah. That ball of flame represents the power of the observatory. We call it the beacon. When you recover a green star, a little power star will be restored and the beacon will grow. The, the Comet Observatory can use that power to fly through the universe. Once all the power is restored, we will even be able to fly to the center of the universe. Oh, the power is on in the new dome. And that is the fountain right there. The newly opened dome is called the fountain. It It's really quite rela relaxing. By the way, have you looked at the map? It contains information about galaxies as well as domes. If you forget the location of a dome, don't hesitate to speak to me. I, I remember all these locations, so I won't have any trouble with it. Alright guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching guys. And if you're new if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and click on the bell right beside be notified every time my new videos come out. And don't forget to drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed. Um and have a good one and have a great day guys. Peace, Republic of Jordan.